hot today, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys know, if you've ever seen my equipment video or my five tips video, you'll know that I am not biased when it comes to equipment. Whatever can get the job done to get you guys the best quality videos and photos, I will get my hands on. I kept saying that iPhones and DSLRs are pretty much the same nowadays, but I never put it to the test. And that is what we're doing today, ladies and gentlemen, trying to decipher between a picture from an iPhone, specifically the iPhone 8 Plus, and a DSLR. The one I have is the Nikon D850. I will be putting each photo next to each other and I'll give you guys a few seconds to comment down below which photo you think is which. I will be putting both photos up here on the screen, side by side, and you guys down below in the comments, try to guess which photo is from which machine. Just so we're clear, I took every photo with the iPhone with the back camera, so we have better resolution to look at between the two photos. Without further ado, here are the first set of photos I took. Uh, comment down below which photo you think I took with which camera. How'd you do? Did you guess? <laughs> and if you guys would like, I will leave a link down below to the photos that I took today. So you guys can see at full screen what the photos look like side by side. Because maybe the YouTube resolution might throw things off a bit for you guys. So look down below in the description for a link that will give you guys the photos I took today. How are you guys doing so far? You doing good? Next set of photos. Now I'll give you guys a little hint for the last one. Try looking at the highlights and see if you can tell a difference. you guys get it overall if you guys see these photos side by side all the time you may be able to tell a difference but most of the time you'll see one or the other by themselves and you would probably never be able to tell a difference what I'm trying to say is whatever type of equipment you have whether it's an iPhone an Android a DSLR Nowadays, you probably won't be able to tell a difference between what, which, what's what. So whatever type of equipment you have, just go out and shoot, bro. Just go out and shoot, sis. <laughs> Some phones that I should mention that would actually stack up a lot better than my A Plus uh, versus my camera would probably be a few. <laughs> uh, off the top of my head, I could think of uh, the Galaxy S20, uh, the Pixel Pro by Google, uh, iPhone 11 for those people that actually want to spend as much as a DSLR. <laughs> There's this phone that's called the OnePlus. I've never heard that before. I just have to look it up. I know that the Galaxy S20 has a really good uh, night mode, so you can shoot really uh, cool pictures at night. So does the um, Google Pixel, I believe iPhone, they're, they're just about there. I, I think that the the problem with iPhone, at, especially at night, is that the the ISO kicks in of, like so much. I think maybe if they can lower the auto ISO uh, range, I think that would probably help because I feel like it overpowers a lot of the image quality. Okay, so I was kind of rambling off there at the end. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I just go off on a tangent and I don't know what I'm talking about before I make a fool of myself uh, I'm just gonna end the video here <laughs> anyway 
If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Maybe they'll like to play the game as well. Oh, and don't forget to comment down below how, how well you guys did. Did you get 100%? 50? <laughs> but that's all for me.